Hello there. It is great to meet all of you. My name is Sean Lee, and I am the CEO of the Algram Foundation. I'd like to spend the next 15 minutes giving you a quick update on the exciting growth of the Algram ecosystem, as well as highlighting a few strategic projects. For those of you who may not know, Algram is a layer one protocol founded by renowned computer scientist and MIT professor, Silvio Michali. Silvio is a Turing Award winner and co-inventor of several core fundamentals of modern cryptography, including zero-knowledge proof and verifiable random functions. Launched on mainnet in June 2019, Algorand is designed as the next generation layer one protocol, which has solved the blockchain trilemma, namely security, decentralization, and scalability. If you're interested in the advanced technical capabilities of our blockchain, our team has published many papers that describe these innovations in detail. If there are four things that you should remember about Algorand, here are the four differentiators. First, our chain is carbon neutral. It is extremely energy efficient by design, and we have even pledged to be carbon negative in collaboration with our ecosystem partners. This is extremely important as having a sustainable future is the responsibility for all of us. Second, the Algram blockchain is exceptionally fast and scalable. How fast, you may ask? We can already process more than a thousand transactions per second, and with our next upgrade, our TPS will be at least 10 times our current rate. However, having a fast TPS is not enough. What is equally as important is the settlement speed, which we can do so in around four seconds today, soon to be around two seconds. We are talking about throughput similar to the largest payment processors in the world today. Third, our transaction cost is near zero. It was designed to be 0.001 algo per transaction at launch, and it is still 0.001, which is equivalent to a fraction of a penny US dollar today. It will remain so in the future. Lastly, the Algram blockchain was designed to be a single chain with no forking, which is particularly important in the world of asset tokenization, including the rapidly growing NFT space. Here's a quick snapshot that shows a comparative energy consumption per transaction between two of the widely used blockchain today, namely Bitcoin and Ethereum, to Algorand. Claiming sustainability of proof-of-stake network against proof-of-work is not hard. The key comparison is really between pure proof-of-stake, which is the consensus protocol for Algorand designed by Silvio, against other POS where decentralization is a critical factor. Pure proof-of-stake, as you may know, means that in any voting round, a committee owners of 1,000 random tokens is selected, approving the block proposed by the first user as opposed to the fixed committee system in many proof-of-work or proof-of-stake blockchains, this random selection of committee members makes the protocol extremely secure against adversary attacks. They simply don't know who to target. Consensus protocols such as delegated POS could easily claim, for example, that a network of 21 validators have low energy consumption, which is true. But the real challenge is being able to achieve sustainability without trading it for security and decentralization. Now let me give you a quick introduction of the Algram Foundation, which I run globally. We have a truly diversified and multilingual team spreading across over 10 countries and covering all major time zones. Our team brings together decades-long credentials and professional experience including some of the largest technology and financial services companies in the world. At the same time, many of them also have deep crypto industry experience, as you can see from some of the names here. Most importantly, we love what we do and we have fun doing it. The yellow dots here indicate our network of community champions, which as you can see is also globally distributed. The community champions are the extended family of our foundation where they act as regional leaders in their respective countries, helping us connect closer with the community and also create a feedback loop for our ecosystem program announcements. What I am particularly proud of 
is the Algren Ambassador Network that we have formulated over the past two years, which now numbers over 900 from 70 plus countries. We have also launched our $2 million Trailblazer Bounty Program earlier this year, enabling global engagement of community members through means such as blog posts, events, and developer solutions to contribute to the Algren community and ecosystem. If any of you are interested in joining our bounty program, we would love to have you on board. Let me take a few minutes to describe the various ecosystem programs that we're running at the Algram Foundation. We predominantly focused on four main areas. Starting on the top right, our community programs, which include the previously mentioned ambassadors and community champions, social outreach campaigns, and our soon to launch decentralized community governance program in the fourth quarter of this year. In the bottom right, this is where we focus on driving economic activities on chain. We have over a million daily average transactions today, many of which are driven by assets that our ecosystem partners have created on the Algram blockchain. Next, under the diversity area, we have a robust grant funding program that has been running over the past year and a half with an increasingly accelerated pipeline of applications and use cases. On top of that, we have launched five accelerators with various regional network partners, bringing many exciting and geographically focused startups into the Algren ecosystem. Lastly, we have also recently launched our Trailblazer Bounty Program, giving blockchain developers opportunities to contribute new capabilities to our protocol. The last area on the top left focuses on two main aspects. One, continuous innovation in advanced cryptographic research. And two, working with leading academic and research institutions around the world to enable the next generation of developers and students to bring blockchain innovation to the next level. The Algren native ecosystem projects have been growing extremely rapidly, especially over the past six months. In the DeFi space, we now have decentralized exchanges, lending pools, prediction platforms, payment gateways, synthetic assets, token bridges, and micro-equity exchanges. Yieldly, as shown here, is one of DeFi industry's fastest growing projects with over $25 million TVL, that is total value locked, 150,000 transactions, and over 10,000 users since launched two months ago. In the NFT space, we have seen an influx of creator-curated marketplaces where authenticity and diversity are the main themes. An example of this is the project with the Italian copyright collection agency, SIAE, one of the largest rights management companies founded in 1882, in which they launched 4 million NFTs on Algram representing rights of nearly 100,000 creators. Another extremely interesting example is one of our partners in Latin America, Carnes Valididas, in which they have built a platform to track the entire life cycle of cows as NFTs for supply chain transparency and traceability. We have also been working closely with stablecoin issuers in an effort to facilitate an algorithm based digital currency ecosystem. To date, we have both USDT and USDC available on Algren, along with the Canadian dollar, euro, Turkish lira, Brazilian real, as well as the gold and silver stablecoin. Soon, we will be adding into our ecosystem the Australian dollar, British pound, Japanese yen, Indonesian rupiah, and the Mexican peso. The reason why many stablecoin issuers are building on Algren is simple. As we mentioned previously, our throughput is exceptionally fast, where transactions can be settled in under four seconds, along with extremely low transaction cost and carbon footprints. This can create an interesting foreign exchange market to facilitate the next generation of cross-border digital payments and settlements. I have included from Wikipedia the most traded currencies in the world on the right, and you can see our portfolio of stablecoins closely mimic this list. One thing our foundation is extremely passionate about is in the social impact projects. We're actively engaged with partners around the world to drive use cases such as financial inclusion, environmental sustainability, and universal access for global learning. For example, 
We're working closely with the Women's World Bank to launch a financial inclusion platform empowering women entrepreneurs in underprivileged communities so they can leverage the power of blockchain-based technologies. In the area of environmental sustainability, we work with companies like Planet Watch, where they work with their community members to build a global air quality monitoring network to detect pollution hotspots and protect everyone's health. I have installed one of these sensors in Hong Kong, where I am part of their network to share environmental data for research purposes. In terms of universal education, an example of this would be our collaboration with the University of Cape Town, in which we have a multi-year partnership to research topics such as digital data privacy and identity, and to build a blockchain curriculum for the next generation of students to become familiar with this technology and its potential. We will also build an African innovation hub together to nurture startups in this space. With that, I would like to once again thank you for this opportunity to speak with all of you today. See you again soon.